We want people to die young as late in life as possible. That's me. I'm living it. I'm 92 years young. <laughs> the Voices of Healthy Aging. My name is Dr. Bernice Catherine Harper. I am 92 years young. I think I'm pretty lucky because I've utilized the whole concept of prevention. My internist, Dr. Lee, some 10 years ago, told me that he wanted me to stop eating sweets and drinking soft drinks because I was African American and he did not want me to get high blood pressure and diabetes. I followed his dictates and I lost 36 pounds. I don't eat off of a large plate, I eat off of a salad plate. And I'm doing great and I, I think that is a preventive component that helped me to live to be 92. My name is Gladys Lanio and I am 79 years young. I tell everybody how old I am. I'm very proud to be 79 and being the way I am. I have been very blessed. My biggest fear of getting old is dementia. The best thing about aging is being able to sit back and don't care what people think. I'm proud of what I am, that I have the interest in life that I still have, and hope. Still have hope. I am Mitra Rangarajan. I am 55 years young, and this is my husband. I am Dr. Rangarajan, and 61 years young. So for me, healthy aging means it's an ageless and timeless body, mind, and soul. So if you ask the, the elderly population what do they need, they will, you can tell them that what makes you to keep you happy. happy. Ask that question. It's always said that a healthy person is, is a, a happy, happy person. person. My name is Todd Lures, and I'm 60 years young. Well, I think that uh, age, you know, certainly um, is is much a number more today than it than it ever was. But still, you've you've got to eat right. You've you've got to uh, exercise, and now basically changed my workout routine to where it's more of a elliptical type of of. Um, machines that I'm using because I really can't run on my hips very well any longer. So I can do, still deal with a you know, good amount of weights and it's uh, you know, very important to me to try to do that at least four or five times a, a, a week. Aging is going to get a tougher as, as time goes on. Bring it on, I just want to do more of it. My name is Bernice Deshay and I am 78 years young. You. I'm Samuel Deshay. I'm 82 and a half years. Do you sense any cognitive decline or slowness? Well, I notice that I'm not able to play at the speed that I once played at on the piano. But I know that's slipping away now. <laughs> Were I 20 years old and was talking to myself with the knowledge that I have today, I would say, relax, take it easy. <laughs> Life isn't all of that. <laughs> it really isn't. Living each day to its fullest is far more meaningful than acquiring and stressing yourself to achieve. Do your best and enjoy it. My name is Rosalind Berla Goldstein and I am 88 years young. A good quality of life to me means that I can walk properly. I've gone through a lot in life. I had two knee I have two knee replacements. I had colon cancer. I survived it. I got used to a walker, but I try to use my stationary bicycle for the exercise which I need to keep my bones going because they're old. My name's Yang King. I'm 70 years young. After my retirement in 2010, uh, I started to get into Tai Chi. I just enjoy all the movements. Now I, I can become a teacher to teach other seniors. Don't be afraid of getting old. Uh, retirement is a landmark. There's uh, a long time after your retirement for you to enjoy your life. 
For more information, visit HealthyPeople.gov and HealthFinder.gov. The views of the participants in this video are their own. They do not necessarily reflect the views of the Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you.